With earlier versions of Clio, users told us the same thing again and again. She just didn't feel personal enough. She'd forget things they'd already said or miss important context. And that disconnect added friction, especially in moments where people needed support. One user put it best. I want a financial coach who knows me better than I know myself. At Clio, we knew that memory would be the key to bridging that gap. When it came to building memory at Clio, we considered a number of approaches, and each came with trade-offs. Knowledge graphs allow us to map out complex relationships and facts. They're great for deep reasoning, but require a huge amount of upfront effort to maintain, more than what we needed for our V1 of memory. We could also allow the agent to manage its own memory using tools, learning and updating as it goes. This is powerful, and we're headed in that direction long term. But for the first version, we settled on semantic retrieval, pushing memories into the conversation context. This lets Clio store and resurface the most relevant pieces of past conversations based on what's currently being discussed. With this, we have a system capable of managing a diverse set of conversations and lays the groundwork for a more adaptive, agentic Clio going forward. Here's how we designed Clio's memory system to work. Every time you talk to Clio, she processes the conversation and creates a summary of what was said. Then she identifies key topics like bill stress or savings goals and picks up on how you're feeling. Maybe you're anxious, motivated or frustrated. We add safeguards at this point too, leveraging the key topics to identify things we wouldn't want to be remembering for future conversations. That summary plus the topics and tone are converted into embeddings, basically numerical fingerprints and stored in a vector database. Later, when you come back and message Clio again, she searches that memory, pulling the most relevant insights based on meaning, filtering for recency and context, and using that to shape her response in real time. This way, Clio remembers your goals, recalls what matters to you, and doesn't make you repeat yourself. It's a foundational step toward making her not just smart, but truly helpful. Let's look at an example. Say a user, let's call her Sarah, tells Clio, I'm so stressed, my rent went up and my car's AC broke. Clio's memory system summarizes that conversation. It stores the topics, rent, car expense, and tags the emotional tone as stressed. A week later, Sarah comes back and says, I need help with my budget. Instead of starting from scratch, Clio brings back that memory. She responds, You mentioned rent and that car repair had you feeling stressed last week. I totally get it. Let's check in on your budget with that in mind. How are you doing today? That moment of continuity builds trust. It shows Clio's not just tracking numbers, she's listening. Memory turns Clio from a chatbot into a long-term financial partner. It reduces friction, it deepens trust, and most importantly, it helps users get to better financial outcomes because they feel seen and understood. We're already working on our version two, expanding what Clio remembers, refining how she reasons with that information, and enabling even more proactive personalized coaching. Watch this space.